Here's David. And the mirror's reflection I'm a-dancing all with myself But when there's no one else inside I think the crowd and lonely night Well, I live so long for my love vibration And I'm dancing all with myself Let's see if we get this new line of reviews going. We're going to start off with the first in the line. Today we'll be taking a look at the Lego Galador figure, Europedes. Now this might sound a bit embarrassing, but I do not remember where I got this. My mom got it when we were probably at school, I'm not sure. Um, and I was probably like a little kid. I'm not, I, I, I'm not sure when I got this. I'm not sure where I got it. I'm not even sure how much it costed. I do not know how much this costs. On eBay, maybe around 10 bucks or so. I don't know. Who knows? Although he's a pretty decent figure. Don't get me wrong. He is. Uh, in my head. Uh, availability. I think the only way to find this is either eBay or you might have some luck and find it in the low clearance section at Toys R Us. Which is, I think we're, yeah, I think we got this at Toys R Us. Toys R Us is a sucker for these type of toys. Which, in my opinion, they're pretty good. Okay, so here's Europedes. Now, before I get to the figure, I want to ask anybody, is Lego Galador a computer generated animated series cuz i've seen pictures of him in um in a 3d model i don't know if they made a series out of it just like they made a se just like they made the uh beast wars transformer series now they made figures and there was a 3d animated series so if anybody knows post a comment now moving on to the figure itself now, here's Europedes. Europedes is not greatly detailed, but at least it has all the details that we could ask for in this type of figure. You know, you don't ask for too much. You can see his scales. And you can see a bit of detail on his armor. Of course, his armor is only anything that's black. There's a close-up of his ugly face. Big nips. That is your PDs. Now let me take this off to demonstrate the articulation on this figure. Now the articulation for this figure is not entirely great, but it is fun to play with. It has ratcheting joints on almost every joint that you can move. The legs move up and down and left and right. The arms move up and down and could swivel up and down, basically, or rotate it. It could bend at the elbow and rotate left and right at the elbow. And you could swivel or rotate the hands, which only have three fingers. wonder what type of creature Europedes is. Same thing with the other arm, same thing with the other leg. And you can move his head slightly up and down. You cannot move move it left and right, you know, turn it left and right, but you could rotate it left and right. And basically that's your Peter's in a nutshell. Well, actually no. Now, there's another gimmick to uh, your Peter's. Ah! He is detachable. Bye bye, Europedes. 
yeah, he is detachable. The reason for this is that you could assemble him in any type you want. You could put his head on his ass. And, you know, you could rotate it this way. You could put his legs in his um, armhole, if you like. It won't go in there. Huh? There you go. Like that, and you know, you could put the other one, the other leg in here, the arms right here, and you can make some. Oh, sorry about that. You can make basically, you know, a weird looking monster. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. Let's see if I don't take much time. Okay, there we go. Assembling this guy is much harder than detach him, or dismember him, or decapitate him, or whatever you like to call it. Now he does come with a weapon. It's his little red and gold staff here. His hands are circled shape right there. I can use this pointer right there, and you could fit his staff into those circleized hands. Let me position it right. Fit the staff. Okay. It keeps falling. Ooh yeah. Sorry about that. It keeps falling. There you go. There he is with his staff. The staff is not entirely detailed, but it has a nice color scheme. Very nice. There's also some gold right here in his crotch, but yeah. So basically, that is Europedes. Okay, so now it's time to grade Europedes. Let's see. Now. Like I said, this figure is really excellent. Well, not entirely, but you get the picture. Pros, good articulation. Not just how much there is, but how you can move it around. You know, the ratcheting joints really mean something. It's really sturdy. It has great balance. Um, you know, it stays up as long as you may, uh, keep the feet intact and balanced. Um, average detail, not much, but it's okay. And good playability. I play with this guy a lot. You know, put him in different positions and assemble it in different positions. The playability counts for the, uh, the assembly feature of having to take off his head, put it in his ass, put, take the legs and put him in his arm sockets and whatnot. Uh, that is pretty much it. Cons. Not that much of a con, but, um, some more articulation would have been nice. Would have been really excellent. If the feet could move, that would have been good. I th there's these little lines right here. Little, like, dividing, or like, a crack right there. I thought that the foot rotates, but it doesn't. Well, I mean, the leg rotates, but the foot itself doesn't rotate. That might have sucked. So, some more articulation here and there would have been nice, like, movable fingers. Um, and, uh, another weapon could have been good. Not just the staff. But that's just me. So, yeah. I give your PDs a grade of, uh, 8.0. Which is a B-. minus. So, if you are into LEGO, and especially the LEGO Galador series... I suggest pick this guy out. This guy's really good.
aside from possibly the robot, I think. I'm not sure. But yes, Europedes is nice. This is Black Spider David signing off with the first ever review of the random reviews line. Keep checking for more. See ya.